How's it going guys? It's Lucas here. This is a bit of a special one. I realized I'm on YouTube since five years now. So thank you all for watching and especially thank you to those who support me on Patreon as well. And I kind of want to give back to you guys as my community, as you make this possible. You make it fun for me as well to create these videos because it's nice to see that people actually enjoy watching them. Um, so I want to give back to you as well and I will put some discount codes for my Patreon in the description. Um, if you're fast, you actually get a few months for free. Um, probably like the first 10 people who click the link. Um, and then I will give a bigger discount, most likely like 50% um, for the annual subscription because that's something new. And yeah, if you want to support me for a full year, uh, I highly appreciate that and I want to give back to you uh, at the same time and give you 50% off. This is also another special one because I'm actually in Houdini 21, as you can see here. It literally just released yesterday um, and I started fixing a few things on my old tool sets here um, that you can see at the top in the Lazy Panda like box if you want. Um, and the first one I touched is the Make Daily and you can see it changed quite a bit. So first of all, we have a new interface now. This works in Houdini uh, 21, which has new PySite 6, which is quite exciting. But it also, I tested it also in Houdini 20.5. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. You have the same interface. And what you can do now, as before, start and frame your studio name and your project name. Uh, in this case, actually chain test if you want um, or whatever it remembers this so the next time you launch this it will remember this uh, studio name for example uh, will be quite tedious to type in every time we now have a feature to add a watermark um, and this watermark can be changed in the in a specific folder so you just need to exchange the file um, for your own watermark and then you will get a 10 percent opacity Watermark, um, you can tick this on and off if you want. Uh, we have a GPU encoder available now. You can pretty much always leave that ticked because I added like a fallback in case it doesn't find this option or it doesn't support your GPU or whatever. It falls back to the normal one. But this one is quite a bit faster if you use the watermark. If you don't use the watermark, you don't really need to worry about GPU acceleration really. And then for the last one, we have an option to write like the frames to the actual Windows temp location, um, just in case your project is on like a slower disk or whatever. That makes things faster again. I will leave all these three ticked and hit OK. And you can see what's happening. It will automatically launch um, a flipbook. It will pick the settings that you set on your flipbook. So if you want something different like motion blow or whatever, um, you can activate it before you do this make daily. Uh, I might actually add the options as well in the in my menu um, so you can pick them there as well. But I think this one is quite straightforward because usually you don't want that anyways. Uh, if you want to have like motion blow or whatever, you're probably going to render anyways. So yeah, this, this is launching and play. And you can see it automatically put me to the project location here. And from there, I can just double click the video and you can see we have a watermark here now. Um, we have the studio name down here as a burn in. We have the name of the project down here and we have the date and time. Yeah, so pretty much all you need for a quick daily. Uh, you can upload that to whatever um, platform you're using or just for yourself uh, to review. If you don't want those settings on, you can obviously turn them off as well, um, except the watermarks right now. I will pro uh, well, the watermark, yes, you can turn off, but the burn-ins you can't turn off right now. Um, that will be added in the next one um, because I literally just thought about that as <laughs> so I'm talking to you. So yeah, that will be added in the next one. Yeah, and this will be in the next release on Patreon. So yeah, feel free to join me there and get this update. And I will obviously do the same for all of these guys here as well, uh, which I haven't touched in a while. So the G code, G code importer um, should probably still work actually. And then yeah, resample ramps and so on. And so, um, so these all will be, will be updated alongside with um, the other tools as well. Uh, easy. You can see I'm actually in the, 
well, you can't see <laughs> because it's cut off. Um, but I'm actually yeah in my in my easy chain development scene, um, and I'm working on that one as well. It's not ready to release yet the new updates, so that will come next month for sure. Um, I have a few few exciting things going on there, but for now it's just the nice make daily in Houdini 21. And yeah, I'm looking forward to try all the new things in here. Again, side effects, incredible job. Uh, yeah, looking forward to play with all of that if I find the time. <laughs> that is. All right, cool. Uh, make sure to check out the discount codes at the description and yeah, leave a comment, like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next one. Bye.